Hey, Bridget here with a look at some stars making news today on CelebrityWeek.com. Us Magazine is saying they can tell a lot from photos of Brad and Angelina together. They asked the body language expert. And they're saying it shows Brad now wears the pants in the relationship when in the beginning it was Angelina that was in control. Here's some examples of what they're calling proof that Brad is now in control of the relationship. First, the fact that Angelina used to wear more pants last year and lately she's been into skirts and dresses. And that controlling Brad, he always seems to be wearing pants. Always. Second, the fact that she's been seen walking behind Brad. Okay, it does look like they're fighting in this one, but I don't think that proves who's in control. And third, the fact that in some pictures she's looking down. They say that means she's feeling subservient and is unhappy in that role. Because when you're truly happy in a relationship, you don't need to know things like what's on the floor or if there's a curb coming up. Sandra Bullock is suing the Tennessee Department of Natural Health and Developmental Disabilities. She's suing for the right to know when her alleged stalker will be released from the mental health care facility. Sandra Bullock's had a restraining order against this guy since 2003, and he's currently a patient at the Tennessee Mental Health Institute, but he might get released on a 90-day furlough sometime this month. A furlough means he's not done with treatment. He has to go back. Before he went into the treatment center, the man allegedly followed Bullock from Michigan to Texas to California and sent her and her family emails, faxes, and voicemails pursuing a relationship with her. The lawsuit isn't asking for any money, just that Bullock be notified when he's released. I don't see what the problem is. I say let her know. The man admitted to having paranoid schizophrenia and he isn't done with treatment. Lindsay Lohan is keeping a healthy level of drama in her life, even if the feuds are getting old and she's not a party girl anymore. Reportedly, Lindsay was at a birthday dinner for her mom at a New York restaurant when the two started arguing in front of everyone. Then, sources say, Lindsay stormed out and told her mom to quote, go to hell. So it was like, happy birthday and go to hell. People point out that Lindsay's been in showbiz with close ties to her mother for 17 years now, and that she's needing to pull away and assert her independence. That's true, but I'd like to believe a person can assert her independence from her parents without telling your mom to go to hell in public at her birthday dinner. Thanks for watching. I'm Bridget, and I'll see you here next time on CelebrityWeek.com.